All right, so today we're joined by Liam, the two-time store champs winner for Grand Archive, and today he's going to show us his Fire Lorraine deck list. So yeah, I won two store champs, and um, top four in the oh world. Oh my god! So, yeah. Had to include that. Just in case, you got sacked by Wallace Sander. Take four. Put and then card into memory, and then I just attack you. Good game. Good game. Uh, four symmetry centuries. Been playing three for a long time, but I played four at this event. I think four's correct going forward actually, because it's a good ally and turn starter. Oh. And it's just two damage and it looks cool. And this rise, the more allies, the more pressure. So I think it's correct. It does feel quite average sometimes, but later game you're just discarding anyway. Four flame rune swordsmen. I don't think they need any explanation. Four hasty messengers also probably Same doesn't thing. doesn't need any explanation. If you're playing less, it's incorrect. For Honorable Vanguard, probably also doesn't really need any explanation either. Three okay. dungeon guides. Oh, what's the, why is that? You can brick on it. Three, you do um, usually see it often enough, and you're probably only wanting to resolve one game. Yeah, fair enough. I mean, there's times I don't draw when I would have wanted it, and then there's times I have multiple of it. Three is just usually felt like the right number. I do have a fourth one of these, but yeah, four would be too, too much of a flex. Last allies is two Benanite, mainly to buff these guys sometimes, which is cute, but it's mainly just to make one of the last cards in the deck extra, extra broken. So yeah. I think that's like 20 allies or something. Oh yeah, fair enough. That usually feels like a pretty good amount. And then we'll move on to just generic fire stuff, which pretty much all fire decks play. Four, creative shock, doesn't need any explanation. Three, increasing, could be four. I was going to really say, good. what's that? The reason behind not running three? Oh, just because any other turn apart from going first turn one feels like really average. Yeah. Going against all the quick decks, even if you are going first, you feel like you don't want to give them a card. Yeah. Versus slower decks, it's alright, but I feel like on the odd time, you do want to resolve it. And it's just another fire card to yeah. add to this, so it's. I couldn't think of anything else I'd want to play. Yeah. Same with Cremation, three is just like a number where I see it enough, but don't tend to break on it, same for this. Mm -hmm. And again, not a massive, massive ally count, so like three is probably fine. Four Tempered Steel, that doesn't need explanation. Again, that card's like good with Symmetry Century. Yeah. Sort of non-fire stuff, but still just generic. You've got four idle thoughts. they staple. We'll move sort of towards tax yep. and other generic firing stuff. Four Savage Lash, the card says Floating Memory, and it's just pretty good, like, don't underestimate Two it. Two damage is yeah. nice. Four of, I wouldn't say the best card in the deck, but one of one the of. best fire cards. The card's insane. Yeah. Um, just gotta be, you know, just don't play into them having the answers. Well, sometimes they don't have the answers, but I don't actually rending as much as people here give me shit for. I actually think this card's probably better and cracked 90% of the time. If you're not playing four, you're probably playing it wrong too. Four flame sweep. Yeah, fair enough. Because you can draw lots of and cards. Cleave is just... Cleave just circumvents every mechanic, like miss and yeah. stealths and everything. And like, yeah, it just, yeah. it's actually obnoxious. I'm devastating blow for if I get to level three. Oh, yeah. I'll flip-flop between one and two, but today I trimmed it down to one. Like, I'm only activating a later game, so yeah. it's one's fine. I usually yeah. see it. One fiery same flip flop between one or two, but pretty hard lose to nullifying, and I don't know, it's just often not as much damage as this easily. Yep. Next, three deflecting edge. Is that for the mirror? Yeah, mirror or Xander usually. Oh, yeah. um, when Lorraine, you're keeping it against because it might, like, ones. One or two would easily keep you alive. Yeah. That match up, but not needed. I'm blazing through. It's cute. Sometimes it's great. Sometimes it's average, but can't be underestimated. There's a pretty yeah. decent card and paired up with Ensoul. It can be quite silly as well. Yeah. For Speaking of Ensoul. Main event. Which you don't, you can often kill without going into it. This is more just a backup plan. Show us the break. I do. Oh this is it's first God. dead, but I do have a, Three, a, a foil, foil on the not. way. Oh. I know. Um, so Ensoul, I wouldn't say, yeah. How saying much damage does it represent? With nothing. And to interrupt 16. 16, yeah, so. Solid and card. then you pair it with the devastating blow on the next turn. It hits for uh, 7 plus 6. You pair it with the uh, rending flames the next turn. It hits for 18. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it just gets very silly. It can clear boards, it draws your advantage. Not many games you're in soul and you're losing, but I, I've won a lot of games and still do without even having to. Yeah. Yeah, and it's nice. You don't brick on crux cards like the wind or fire decks do because oh. you only play four. 
yeah. usually. And then material that I'm assuming this will be pretty generic as well. Generic, I believe. So we play. Oh. Uh, ring up for it with the foil ring. Yeah. So we play ring. Doesn't need an explanation. We play all because sometimes you can have bad hands, and sometimes you often actually have only this after insulin to materialise, and then that way you can kind of sculpt your hand. Wouldn't change it. It's pretty good. Fire spirit because that's the deck. <laughs> Uh, we have foil level one Lorraine. Oh my god. We have the poverty foil level two Lorraine. Right, at the, <laughs> the end of the day, sort of foil yeah. Lorraine. And then we have the promo poverty level three one as well. Ah, nice. uh, you play this one because it says buff your attacks and swords. And yeah. again, even that, yeah, it's just very good. Like, after you've been sold, it makes a savage lash just 10. Yeah. Pretty yeah. much, or eight. So it's, it's pretty good. Uh, and then sword count. So we've got drawn blades is draw one. Yep. Then we play Warriors Long Swords mm -hmm. plus one, so it makes all your big attacks quite good. Yeah, will that be replaced by the new fire? Yes, card it will be because the fire one's better in every okay. situation. So basically, your end is now going to hit for 17. Can't one more damage. One. And the fire sword's just better to bring out anyway because you can keep it alive. Yeah. True ability counters, sword adversity, it's probably one of the more average ones too. True sight, it's really good. Yep. Great sword, it's pretty mid, but sometimes. Buffs cute. your guys as yeah. well. And then the sword, which is really good because it's just do lots of damage and it dies, but you can't bring yep. it out. So, side deck, which will show you. One deflecting edge, so that would bring the total to four. That's for just Sander and Fire Rain, because if you have that, you might win. Yep. Another Blazing Throw, this just comes in versus like Riot decks, you just have to kill super quickly. Yeah. Play really aggressive in two. Yep. A two spurn. Oh, yeah. Just for, it's actually mainly against another water, because they're slow and you can oh, hit yeah. a bunch of stuff, and then, yeah, for anyone that's going to bring another fire. Oh, against you it's pretty good you kind of have to have it because nullifying slows you down too much yeah. and then four spark of light for right because this is beat barrier unless you don't have it or can't activate it then you don't be barrier sweet as so well that's, uh, thank you very much for the deck profile no worries you're welcome shout All out right. to levi tcg oh yeah and shout out to card merchant nelson for hosting the store champs